In the shadow of Hong Kong's endless skyscrapers, you'll find this ramshackle web of squatter homes. It's an unlikely sight in a city with one of the world's most expensive housing markets. But Pak Fu Lam Village's quiet lanes and alleys contradict a city racing into the future. And now its residents are fighting to hang on to its 150-year-old heritage. Squatter houses are only temporary residences. The government doesn't want you to live there for a long period or make your living space too pretty because they expect you to leave soon. The problem is, we're talking about squatter houses from the 70s until now. Everything has fallen into disrepair and needs fixing. Critics call Pak Fu Lam Village an eyesore and want it redeveloped. But the locals are speaking up, urging the Hong Kong government to recognize its cultural value. Last month, they won the support of the U.S.-based World Monuments Fund, which added Pak Fu Lam to its 2014 listing of endangered heritage sites around the world. We are talking about people, we are talking about community. These are the key elements of a heritage entity that will help sustain the heritage. Keeping the hardware, the shell is not going to do anything. The most you can do is turn them into a, a dead museum, you know, a monument for display. Among the many unique traditions locals are hoping to preserve here, the weaving of hay to create fire dragons, which the Chinese believe ward off evil spirits. There's no official research done on this. It's oral history passed on through the last generation. There were bad things, pandemics, and it was said that incense smoke in the Chinese tradition had the ability to make bad things go away, like pandemics, floods, fire disasters, all those things. It was said that we could talk to supernatural beings through incense smoke. But superstition doesn't always win when it comes to tens of millions of dollars in land values in a crowded city. Locals are now counting on the World Monuments Fund and a bit of the Fire Dragon's help to see them through. Zeb Eckert, Bloomberg, Hong Kong.